That's Dark Souls, baby. Borrow that uh, little tagline from XCOM. Okay, I think we can't pick anything up here, but... Uh, oh, yes, we can. Okay. Torch required ahead? I don't think so. I don't think you can skirt this edge, so I'm not going to try it. Not now. It's not worth it. We can always come back. A lot of twinkling Titanite down here, so that's a plus having to do this multiple times, I guess. Okay, these dumb things. So there is an NPC summon here. Uh, I'm definitely just, I'm just going to grab her. Like, I'm not going to fuck around. <laughs> with the third section. It's just as bad. Alright. Just sit at the bonfire first. Poof! Jesus. Okay. There's also an invader, and in th there's an NPC invader and a bunch of those casters and melee guys, and they all attack you at once, so it's just like, have fun, and hopefully you have a distraction via the NPC. I'd almost consider this next little area co-op, because it is just, it's awful. And lock-on, just not, it's just not really doing it for me today. Excuse me? There you go. Alright, Felicia the Brave. Monster of an NPC right here. So let's do it. Speaking of XCOM, do you have any of those games? Yeah. Enemy Within and XCOM 2 is fantastic. Love it. Note.
Okay, moving on. Peculiar whatever your name is. Get fucked. There he is. You know, I would love to be able to lock on. It's funny how he can attack us with uh, with a hex, but like I can't, I can't, uh, I can't lock on to him. Makes uh, makes complete sense. Get him, Felicia. All right, get fucked. What a shitty place for them to put an invader to, you know? <laughs> like what a bunch of fucking assholes that made this game. Soul of a proud knight. 100% necessary at this point. Hey, be careful. Don't fall in, Felicia. Felicia, please. Homing crystal soul masses here? Holy shit. Felicia, please. Felicia, please. Don't fall off, though. Okay. Dude, she's a beast. Look at her go. She's just going from enemy to enemy, just beating the shit out of them. They're all they're asleep still. Thank you to the Mill of whatever name person it is, but she's they're just like They're killing it. Keeping these assholes asleep. Oh my goodness. Now the downside is, is I'm pretty sure there's no bonfire now between here and the boss. So if you want to get to the boss, you have to go through all of this each time. Which is exactly why I'm just going to bring Felicia with me. Like, I'm not going to mess around with this. I'm just, I'm going to bring her with me. Like, I would normally be fine doing it alone, but after all of this, let's just take the NPC <laughs> with us. Don't fall in. Alright. Use an Estes Felicia. What are you doing? Bye, Felicia. So she just disappears. I don't know what that's about. Is there anything else to grab in here? Okay. Let's get crazy. This is a real strange boss, by the way. It's also what's been singing this whole time. Get in there, Felicia. The key with this boss is it's just hard to find when to do damage without taking damage, but Felicia is able to tank it for us. So I'm just going to let her do it, and we're going to use Dark Orb like crazy, because I do not want to have to go through the run to this boss. Jesus. Felicia, no! Yep, it's casting time, baby. You know what would make this fight like a million times worse is if they made it such that it, there were like bottomless pits just in random places in this in this area. I wouldn't be surprised. This is a very disturbing boss, by the way. 
but luckily it's very weak to ranged attacks. It just can't close the distance very well. Ugh. Okay, we're done. Well, we're not fully done, but we're mostly done with Shrine of Amana. There's the key to the Embedded. So we're gonna have to go back and, and take care of that at some point. But good god, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bye, Felicia! That's fine. She doesn't need to survive. She doesn't have her own little quest line. She's just a scholar of the first sin. Are you ready? Hurrah for pyromancy. Oh, is this the area with the pyromancers? They suck. I don't think that's here. Let's be careful. Look, the boss is dead, so, like, the worst that can happen is if we die, we just have to run through the enemies to get back through the, the zone. Given the, like, the visuals of this game, I think they're a little underwhelming, but I think that boss is one of the coolest looking bosses. I really think so. It's really, really cool looking. break his stamina with enough dark orb shots. Dude, look at him. Look at him go. Dude, we just made it through Shrine of Amana. You think you're going to pose a challenge to us? The answer is, it is it, that would be impossible. You think, oh, maybe Vendrick's in here. He's not. It's a whole different zone that we have to go through still to get to Flip and Vendrick. There's this huge buildup to get to the castle, and then just inexplicably they're like, oh, but here, go through two more zones before you find Vendrick. Also, one of them is the worst fucking zone in the whole game. <laughs> just the worst. Felicia's a brave knight. A proud knight. Be funny if petrified guy ends up killing us. All right. Thank God. So I'm gonna go back to the castle and use my key of the embedded. This door. This is a strange door. Yeah. So you need to free all the, all of the the women. One of them is in Drang Lake, so let's go and do that now. And then you come back here, and only when you're hollowed can you open the door. So I guess let's just do that. What's the fastest way to her? Central castle and then up the elevator. Man, that took an hour and a half to get through Shrine of Amana. I mean, we killed Mirror Knight at the beginning, so that's something. But then it was just... It was like nearly an hour and a half strictly of Shrine of, Am of Amana. Kill me. I think I should have just switched and done uh, Fire Longsword Shield that whole time. That would have made that so much better. Oh well, there's no point in going over it again. We also got our last Estus Flask Shard, so we'll go back to Majula, spend our souls, level up our Estus, so 12 plus 5 is the total that you can get. All right, this will be mildly disturbing. Yeah, we did Looking Glass Night pretty early. We had Bernard in there. He was, he, no problem though, first try. All right, see you later. Ring of the Dead. What do you do?
keep human appearance even when hollow. Who cares? Oh, now she's singing in here. No, nah, I didn't get invaded by a person. I think my soul, my soul memory is way too high for anybody to realistically invade me in these areas right now. I'm almost soul level 150. I, th I think I'm like soul level 140 and my memory, my soul memory is like, yeah, it's, it's almost 2 million. So we're like well beyond, I think, typical invasion levels right now, which is a little disappointing. I don't know how this happened. I think, I mean, I co opt a little bit, but not a huge amount. Okay, so let's go back to Shrine and go to the first one. Because we, I think we have to go and talk to the first lady now that we freed the other two. I think. I've seen Dead Space 2's eye machine scene. Nothing can be more mystur disturbing than that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that does make you clench a little bit. No, don't. Are they really... I hate these enemies are the worst. How many times did I die to these things? Way too many. They have a good chance of dropping effigies at least. We hear a song in the distance. You rescued a Milfanita who was taken from us. Take this. We, Milfanita, thank you. Cool. You quelled that cursed singing. They may be of no use outside, but please, take these. Yep, pretty useful. When we sing, the little this. So I when think... When we sing, the little one this. I think that's it. Like, I think I could go and open that door. I don't have to yet, though. Like, there's no reason I need to, but if you go to it when you're hollow... It basically unlocks an ability to go that if you have no human effigies, you can go there and become human for free if you do this side quest. But I have like 50 humanities or human effigies, so like I'm not really in every any concern of that. But it's just like a neat little thing to have available. But again, the door will only open when you're hollow. Um, I guess let's just go do it. Let's just fall into a pit. We can fall into a pit and recover our souls real quick. You died to the fishmen like three or four times. Yeah, it was a. It felt like a, a lot. Okay, so let's just die. So that we're technically hollow. We'll grab our souls. And then we'll go back up and open the door. And I, the door only opens, I think, when you rescue all the milfanitos. They are called milfanitos. <laughs> When I said it the first time, I'm like, that can't be what they're actually called. Nope, that's it. All right. All right. See you later. I think we get invaded here. No, we don't, but there's just these asshole pyromancers. These guys are the worst. Lock on! Why? Is there such an issue with locking on these days? These darn kids and their inability to lock on. All right, yeah, nothing really can survive the dark orb spam. We 
we've done it. So you can come here again if you're hollow and you have no human effigies in your inventory or in your box, then you get free uh, free humanity. Who are you? And what do you want from us? Milfanito. That is what we are called. I know. My name. Do you mean our name? No. We know nothing of the outside world. We sing eternally for those who bear death and dark within themselves. We have been here forever. We know nothing of the outside world, and we do not need to. The little ones were born from the great dead one. And the great dead one taught us song. We have sung ever since. To comfort those bound by death and dark. This is what we were taught. We hear a song and you read take this. Cool. Fire seed. Cool. Do you pull take this? Cool. This is all the little one. Okay, great. So you just get some of those random rewards. Petrified something is always good, because it usually results in a pretty powerful reward. Oh my word, okay. Alright. Oh, she just keeps singing, huh? Jesus. Yes, yes. Smash him. Smash him again. No! The smash didn't work. No, nope, that's fine. That's fine. Let him do that. Okay, get that lingering fire out. Get that shit out of here. These guys also have a lot of health. They have high magic resist, sure, but they just also have a butt ton of health. Ugh, okay. Fire seed. We can probably get our pyromancy up to plus- Oh god, plus ten at least. Oh look, another one. Let's see if he'll come to us. He certainly will. Oh! Oh god! This dude is a god! Will you stop it with the lingering flame, you fucking asshole? Ugh. They don't even drop anything. They're just a bunch of assholes. Pretty sure that this is just death. Yeah, so we'll go... Yeah, I can't believe the smash missed. They have iframes when they're getting up, so... Unfortunately, that's what happens. Alright, let's go grab the other chest, because I think there's another one on the other side, and then we are... out of here. <laughs> Hurrah for pointless. Man, if one of these was a mimic, that would be a real slap in the face. Bonfire Skedic. We're not even using bon I mean, I used one Bonfire Skedic. We don't need any more. Sure, let's make the game harder after we died a dozen times in Shrine of Amana. <laughs> oh, just get me out of here, please. You're taking each other's hits on the chin there? Yeah, this, that's definitely what it felt like. Okay. Time to proceed. The next area is 
not nearly as bad. It's actually quite unique, and I think the next area is pretty fun. Oh, this guy. Hello. <laughs> All right, now we're back in it. That, that double hit right there gave me, gave me the motivation to proceed. All right, Vendrick, we're on our way to you. To the king! I'm not even going to use a human effigy right now. I'm only going to use it if we hollow out enough. Let's just go get back to saving those, I guess. I don't actually know if there are any summons for the boss of this area. This The boss of this area is pretty tough. Might take me a couple tries. What? What? It's just, it's going back up now. All right. See, I wish that you didn't have to go back to... Whoa. Oh, Aldia. I wish you didn't have to go back to Majula every time, just because I like that we're down here, and you kind of feel like you're sort of trapped, and you have to keep pushing forward, but instead, at any time, you can just go back to Majula. So Aldia is here, I think, to tie things in a little bit neater into the original, um, like the first. Wait, what is this? The first uh, Dark Souls, just a little bit. But again, just sort of remind you like, hey, you don't actually know why you're doing what you're doing. Have you ever thought about it? But it doesn't really matter, I think is kind of the point. As long as you have some sort of purpose. You have some sort of purpose to move forward. That's what stops you from going fully hollow, I think is the, kind of the point. Oh yeah, you're talking about the gas sacks on the basilisks? I think Azathen pointed that out to me when I was playing the first Dark Souls. It's weird. It's so strange. Is that a sh here to see love, however? Okay. 
Our Estus Flask is now fully upgraded. There are still more shards you can find, but we can't use them. Alright, let's not mess around. Let's get right back to it. We have found all the bonfires, it looks like. I don't know at what point in the game, eventually all the bonfires become visible to a degree. Like, you can't see where they are, but you can see how many there are. So, like, there's another one here in Undead Crypt. I don't know what at what point in the game though, that all becomes visible, because prior to Dranglight Castle, it was something in Dranglight Castle, but prior to Dranglight Castle, you couldn't see all that. So this area kind of sucks. I'm actually going to go fire Longstart for down here, just because Undead are typically more weak to fire. Don't hit those that barrel there, though, because it will, uh, well, it'll do that. So these guys are basically just here to guard Vendrick. They're not, uh, that's why they're basically just, Jesus, they're basically just guarding these entrances. They're not coming to explicitly try to kill you. Only if you get in the way. Hello? Hello, sir? Hello? Please? Okay, there you go. You can see, pretty resistant to dark. More so than most other points in the game we've had up until now, at least. These guys suck. They suck. Okay, I'm gonna lure the other hollows out first and see if I can kill these. There'll be another one, but for now this is fine. Uh, I'm probably going to be in the habit of just running by these things eventually, but for now, let's kill them at least once. Get out, get out. Okay, let's lure all these guys back. But yeah, eventually, we'll, we'll just get to a point where we run by these, but just to clear the room out for now so that we can then, um, loot the room if there's anything in there. Prisoner's Tatters, finally! The best item in the game, if you ask me. Whew! Alright. Huh, let's loot the room. There's nothing in the room, Jay Burino. Is there? Nope. I think I... Didn't I pick up Homing Crystal Soul Spear? That would be a good one to attune. That's definitely never a bad thing to, to have. Oh, shit. Light. And all those who bear it. Unwelcome in this place. Okay, so he's basically saying, do not approach this man with a torch. Nor will I attack these guys. I did this on my first playthrough, that was a mistake. Because then, if they're just hostile, they are such fucking assholes to deal with. <laughs> Countless dead rest here in peace, cradled by the comfort of dark. Light only agitates. We have no need for it here. 
I like that he mentioned the head guy from the dark and foggy forest. Yeah. Vangarl, can you at least use the shards for other things like treading them or something? You might be able to sell them to... Um... Gavlan, but otherwise, I don't. There's nothing else you can do with them. I am a finito. We weave death and watch over the dead. This task was granted to me by the one who gave us the first death. Countless souls rest here. Some of them from ages long ago. Some were rich, others poor. Some wise, some dull. But now. They're all just dead. Did you come for him? The one called Fendrick. You will find him deeper inside. Many castle servants and the like have come to fetch their lord. But they rest here now, put to death by the king's own guards. Perhaps. He's not in the mood for company. In the past, humans were one with the dark. The former king of light, he feared humans. Feared that they would usher in an age of dark. How queer are you humans. How you go on, never separating truth from fiction. Is that a reference to Nido, first dead? Yeah, most likely. This place is welcome to all, provided due reverence is shown. Death is equitable, accepting. We will all one day be welcomed by her embrace. Tell me what you desire. Show me reverence, and I will lend you my hand. All right, let's see what... Uh... Teenage Grand Admiral Thrawn can sell us. Have mercy. Don't need that. Don't need those. 13. It's like we're at the point where I don't really need to even be leveling up, so I should just buy more effigies. I have 50 of them, though, so... Soul Spear, we already have... Warmth is a great spell. It might be worth grabbing this if we attune our pyromancy... Crude human. Wow. What the? I am a finito. Okay, I don't care about your Someone life story anymore. You just insulted me. Crude human. Okay, let's get out of here. Don't aggravate those mummy men. Just leave them alone. Because <laughs> they'll be they'll be aggressive then every single time you try to run through here, and it is a pain in the flipping butt. There is a hidden path down there. 